Yep, that's what's up. You guys, Wagwan, welcome once again to the Big Friday Show. And you guys, I told you today I have a very special someone. You guys have no idea how this is happening. I have no idea. But I have in the studio, see me, see me to the see me, see me, see me, see me, see me. You guys, I have the amazing soft queen artist. Multi award winner, the music jagavan, a global icon, <laughs> one of the premiers putting up a bit out there. The world stage right now, you guys. I have the one and only Simi and the beauty. Simi, how are you feeling, real quick? Fantastic. Yeah, you need to you need to put the headphones on. Yeah, but I'm 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 fantastic. How are you? I'm great. I see me. Oh, this is okay, Ronnie. Hi, sis. This is fantastic. I mean, it's a big Friday show. All right. So I'm really, really loving Stranger. Like, what going with Stranger? How's Stranger doing, like, so far? And I know the video came out yesterday, 2 p.m. How's yes. the reception been so far, Simi? Um, very, very... I'm very excited, that's what I'll say. Because, you know, this is my first single this year. Yeah, and I know... <laughs> Sorry, that was very shocking. But this is my first single this year, and I'm, you know, because I had waited so long, I was going to put out something else, you know, initially, but I was like, I waited this long that I wanted to put something out that's, you know, something like a sound that I hadn't put out in a long time, Mm -hmm. you know, something to just, just, you know, give my fans some food. Because I know they have been missing out. Exactly. We've yeah. been hungry. Like, what's going on in June? We're getting our very first right? single in June. And the response has been really amazing. I'm just very grateful. Amazing. Uh, Bernie, did you see that video where we made going to the passport Oh, office? yeah, I did. And those I, people had the most to say. I did. I was just like, what is it? That is something I know a Nigerian football office can do. I mean, the frustration of all of that is something that we need to have a conversation about how you deal with it. You know, you say yeah. you don't like using your name no. to, but... Um, but, but that day you have to put the call across. No, actually, no. I, I was actually going to see someone. You know, the person that was helping me. Mm-hmm. Right? So, I didn't call to prove power. I called because I was going to see the person yeah. anyway. So, um, and like, I, I don't know, honestly, people, they will spread the first one, they will not spread the second one. So I had explained that the only issue I had was actually with the person outside, the person at the security post. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people assumed that I was complaining about not being able to use my dress to take a picture. He just didn't want me to go inside. At all? Yes. So that was the problem that I had. Like, he didn't know if I was going to get my passport. He didn't know if I was going to go see someone. He didn't know if I was going to take a picture. He just didn't want me to say I was too, I was not dressed well to enter the compound. So that's what I was saying. Because when I got inside, everybody was actually really sweet to me. You know, it was really I mean, nice. Who would it be? Ah, you'd be surprised. They don't know that Simi is not a UK big because I was going to what? ask, how do you... <laughs> How do you shuffle so gracefully? Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I mean? How are you in the UK and you're in Lagos, Nigeria? Yes. And we don't even know. Do you, we just get to know from your baby's accent. We know that nah, this ones are not Nigerians anymore. <laughs> so how do you shuffle so gracefully, Simi? How do you do it um, without stress? I mean, I guess if you have to do something, then you do it. You don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. You know, um, like I'm... Like like you said, I'm shuffling a lot, you know. I'm here a lot and I'm in the US, actually, not the US. You see, you see, you see. <laughs> No, that's not an extra flex. I'm just correcting <laughs> the location. But um, if you have to go, you go. What are you going to do now? And um, I guess what carries us, my family and I, you know, um, both places. And at first, you know, it's a little hard. But eventually, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Yeah. That's Amazing. fantastic stuff. It is really, really fantastic. Are we expecting any collaborations with like a female? I feel like Sammy does a lot of music. So this is your first song, you know, this year. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, you said you wanted to drop something before, but mm-hmm. you dropped something that was more, in quotes, your sound. So I'm guessing that what yeah. you wanted to drop before was maybe a deviation from that. When are we going to get that one? Um, I wouldn't call it a deviation per se, because I feel like I've experimented a bit. But Nigerians have a tendency to... The market is harsh. No. Yeah, it's it's harsh, but that's not what I was going to say. It's like, for me personally, my experience is that, you know, they tend to... There's only one thing they want to hear from me, I've noticed. (laughs) There's the one thing that... So no matter even if I try a different style, it's one thing people are kind of like... 
they obsessed with a certain version of me or maybe okay. obsessed is strong you know mm-hmm. and I respect that you like what you like you know what so version is that though because I <laughs> what version is a love you. song ballady or just sweetie or girl next door vibe Okay. Yeah, okay. that's what that's that usually. So if I do something like oh this is this they say me I miss I'm like bro, <laughs> <laughs> at least give it a but, chance. Right? Yeah, exactly. But you know, I guess it's at the end of the day, my job is to make the art and people like it or they don't. You know, most but, people do like it. Yeah, I, I fall into the yeah. category. If any songs to me drops out, like yeah, <laughs> but my core honestly. fan base, like honestly, those are the people that are most concerned about when I make music because like they rock with me regardless what I put out if I say I want to drop a rap song today they will, they are they will there. stream it and, and you know most Nigerian most of us uh, musicians here in Nigeria we're all sharing the same fan base <laughs> true it's true, true talk. yeah so like that's harder to navigate you know as opposed to if you have people that you know what they listen to is like R&B or folk music or soul so cool stuff I, but, I need to know right see yeah. me because I listened to Stranger over and over again like three times yesterday. Yeah. What mode were you in? Because I almost say feeling like I was just getting out of a heart. But I said, no, nobody has broken my heart. <laughs> what is going on? So what, what mood were you in um, when you sang I guess Stranger? I must have been in a very mellow mood. I was actually, I went to see my friend and his wife. And I was with my daughter, so I was driving. I was, I was in the States at the time. So I was driving back home. And I don't know, I was just mellow that day. And the thing is... For somebody that is, I don't think I've ever been heartbroken, but I'm. Re- I don't know. Honestly, like, because that songs come to me very easily. Okay. I guess maybe I'm just a champion for people that are. I've been taking breakfast <laughs> separately, so <laughs> I'm here for them because I mean somebody has to be. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that I was thinking because I I like love a lot. I sing about love a lot, you know. And I felt like you know, one angle that I probably haven't explored like that is you know when you have. You like you in a relationship. They've not given you breakfast yet. But <laughs> you're in a relationship and you just feel like you've changed so much, you know. And you're doing things or you're accepting things or you're adapting to things that normally you never would. And then you're like, one day you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I don't know that person. You know, I feel like that was a perspective that would be, you know, nice to sing about or write about. And, you know, that got me in my feelings as well, you know. And I feel like, you know, people will be able to relate to it, especially people that admit therapy. <laughs> That's currently, <laughs> that is currently <laughs> going through it. Because I said, ah, Simi's relationships, relationship is one of the relationships I really, celebrity relationship I really do admire. Oh, and thanks. I follow. So I said, ah, no, my favorite couple. <laughs> ah, no, I know they are definitely in a great space. But let me get to hear from the horse's mouth yeah. what exactly was going on in your head no, and your I mind. I tapped outside of my... Myself. So, Simi, should we be expecting any collaboration with like female artists? I'd love to see you and Tiwa Savage. What are you thinking? Or, uh, I mean, you know what's going on with international artists. Like, a lot of them is collaborating with Afrobeats, artists, yeah. all of that. Should we expect anything coming up? Because it would be sick. I First of all, to acknowledge the second thing you've said, I think it's so beautiful to be existing in this era where, like, we're the hot cake now. Honestly. You know what I mean? Everybody's trying to jump on our stuff now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just, Shout out to Afrobeats. And shout yeah. out to Afrobeats, you know. Like now, they want... <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> you didn't finish that thought. You didn't finish that Wait, thought, but that's fine. Is, now they want our clouds. <laughs> now they want Afrobeats clouds. No, but it means that, you know, obviously, you know, people have put so much work, put so much work in. Mm-hmm. And it's just beautiful to be seeing, like... My people just reaping the rewards. It's beautiful. Yeah. And as to featuring female artists, who knows what you're going to see next? You know, <laughs> you don't know. Cliffhanger. <laughs> that I, would really, be... I really like that sound. Yeah. I hope I can take it to <laughs> <laughs> No, don't worry. I'll send it to your WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, so what are we expecting from Simi? We're, we're in June. We have about six months to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this year, 2023, like, what, what more should we expect? Um, I know this year I started late, but, you know, <laughs> it's not... It's have you ever heard of the saying, anytime anybody wakes up, that's the person's morning, so... Funny thing is, my <laughs> husband just morning. told me that this particular saying exactly... Mm-hmm. Like, you see? A couple of weeks ago, he was like, oh, I just heard this new... I was like, oh, new lamba. <laughs> 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 but I really, like, yeah... You know, I know I started late, but like this year, I'm really excited. I'm dropping an album this year. That's I have another, I have, yeah, I have another single coming out. 
um, not too long from now. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I just dropped Stranger, so we're still on that. But I have another single coming out, and most likely the album right after, or maybe I don't know, maybe another single. I don't like dropping so many singles. Mm. I just feel like I'm not really a single artist. <laughs> Intended. In more ways than one. <laughs> In more, yeah. I caught that. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I, I'm really, really excited. Um, I know that I've stabbed Simi Army. And, yes, you, you know, are. I'm about to come correct. Yeah. 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 That's we that's heartwarming. That's heartwarming yes, to you, find yes, out. Yeah, Simi Army. Okay, great stuff now. So I've been effing with Simi for like a wow, a long time. In my uni days, 200 level, 2014, 2015, mm-hmm. even when she newly opened her Instagram account and stuff, like I've been Aww. on Simi's Instagram, That's following her stuff like that. Me. And Simi is so freaking talented. Mm-hmm. I feel everybody knows that. Already. But I just yeah. want to know, why is she just so cool? Just know what I mean. Why is she just so humble? And I know <laughs> when you come into like the industry and you're coming out from the house and then you're getting to hear people give give out like or dish out different advices like, oh, you have to lick ass or oh, you have to be calm about certain stuff. Oh, no, don't blow out. Do you understand what I mean? Like there's just how you have to move in the industry to be on everybody's yeah, good books. So, basically really. you're so for, for me, yeah, like because I'm one of those who are like, ah, see me super great. Like I want you to do more. I want you to feel, do you get what I mean? Like feel like Simi, the Simi mm. that I know. Because I'm one of the army, so like, mm-hmm. do you get what I mean? So I just want to know, right, is this yeah. a Simi as this is my personal, like my personality, or it's kind of a management thingy, so I just want to know. Um, the funny thing is, like, you're not alone, I've heard this a lot, actually. Um, the thing is, one of the things that keep, has kept me grounded is my personality and my person. You know, I understand the way the industry is. My no, keep going. Sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to find my words. Um, <laughs> no, we don't say words here. Anything just say. <laughs> <laughs> my, the biggest reason that I'm doing what I do is because I love music. Cool you stuff. know, as much as um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a very, very limelighty person. And I know that people expect that when you're in the industry, you have to be that way. But I've always disagreed. I still disagree. Um, and the people that are that way, I respect, you know, like that's what it is. But for me, it's like I just want to. Ten years down the line, I still like who I see in the mirror. Yeah, you know what I mean. You don't want to look in the mirror and see a stranger. Yeah, (laughs) I still. I'm not. I still don't. (laughs) You see what I did there. (laughs) (laughs) I've never. I'm not. I don't kiss ass. I don't know if I can say it at this time on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It'll pass. Yeah. This time. <laughs> I never have. I'm not I don't have friends in the industry. The only friend I have in the industry is my husband. Maybe Faust. Okay. I know a few other people, but like not an industry relationship. Mm. You know? I just my friends that I have now, people that I've known for years. That's just no, me. No. And I understand people like a lot of people would like me to be more showy. Okay. Yeah, showy. But that's just... And I'm not... I don't I don't know how to pretend or put on a show just to impress anybody. The only person I'm really looking to impress is me, so... And God. You know, and as long as I'm happy and at peace, like, I'm cool. Amazing. Words to live by. As long <laughs> as I'm happy and at peace, I'm cool. Yeah. It is what it is. Exactly. Alrighty. How's your little baby, Simi? Brownie, you have any more questions for Simi? I was going to ask... I was gonna ask. So, yeah. what's that like? It's like you you got a little carbon copy of yourself. That is, <laughs> she's she's one of the most interesting people already. Yes, she is. Yeah, and oh what's gosh, what's that like? It's it's a lot of things at the same time, and I feel like the like the more time I've been as, as the more time I spend as a mom, my feelings about this you know evolve. And I remember, like, I just, she's three now. She just turned three Aww. last month. How time and flies. I know, yeah. right? Like, I actually have a child. Wow. <laughs> but, like, um, I remember that I, I just started to find myself again last year. Just right after she turned two. Mm-hmm. It's almost like, I don't know, I guess everybody experiences, probably experiences it differently. Yeah. Yes, but, you know, for me, it's like your world, because... You can see clear. You can see certain things. It, few things are dimmer to you, but certain things are clearer to you. It's like your brain just kind of hones into this whole mothering mm-hmm. thing. That's how it was for me. And then, you know, when two years later, after I had my child, I felt like I started to see myself a little more. When I say see myself, like notice myself. Oh, you're still there. You know, like 
it just I don't know how to say your it. tunnel vision yeah. kind of cleared exactly, it wasn't just all yeah. about your the child the tunnel vision longer. was like it became like a yeah. little wider you know I was able to just see and experience myself a mm-hmm. little more and you know it can make you very vulnerable but it's such a beautiful you know I feel like that's the most incredible thing I've ever done and you know, every day I'm grateful to have that opportunity, but it's not easy. You know, one thing that I always say is like, before you do it, you know, people say you can have it all, you can do it all. You can, but you can't do it all at the same time. Sure, sure. You cannot do it all at the same time. Certain things have to give, you know, and that's just the way, that's just the nature of things, you know. You have to compromise on some things depending on how important, how basically. important it yeah. is to you, yeah. Cool stuff. Cool, cool, cool stuff. I kind of feel like in the in the energy of. All I hope I didn't scare Tacha. No, she, <laughs> she oh wanted to look quiet, like oh. You, are you looking? Oh, uh, she we are encouraging her. <laughs> then, so you know. getting into the conversation, anyways. I can't wait to have a baby one day. Do you get? I feel like see me. Yeah. You know, like you said, experiences are different. It's a beautiful I can't wait experience. to experience it differently. You know. Yeah. Simi, <laughs> <laughs> so, should we spend more TikToks with you and your family? Because the TikToks you put out oh. are really fun and great. Yeah. Simi is doing more. Like you're coming out more, which is amazing. Yeah. Because no, I've always been a goofball. It's just that you go haven't here. shown it yet. No, no, you have to follow me to see. People are right. me actually know. You guys, if you want you to know. stay happy for the rest of your life, make sure yeah, you're checking I, out Simi's TikTok and Instagram I'm, I'm, and Twitter. I'm actually like a serious goofball. I'm always joking around, you know. And now TikTok has given me the ability to do that more freely. So <laughs> I like the parts where you bring in your husband and you guys just yeah. show that part. I think one time she poured like her mom water. So we like, oh my God. Yeah, my mom, my mom so has painful. been a victim several times. <laughs> she said victim. <laughs> yes. Love it. Amazing. Anyways, it was beautiful having Simi. What do you think, Brownie? It's, it was it's so... fantastic having you and just being able to experience the energy that you usually put out. And it's not just for social media. It's actually just... Yeah, it's, Definitely. You know? you. Anyways, you guys, make sure you're going out to check Stranger, Stream Stranger. The video is out. Make sure you watch it. Post your videos. Make sure you're tagging Simi. She'll repost it. She'll put it up on her story. Yeah. Um, and yes, it was so great to have you, Simi. Any last words Thanks in like 10 me. seconds? Last words is crazy. <laughs> No, um, like that's not what I mean. Shot. Parting shot. Okay, any parting shot. Any 10 seconds parting shot for, for the people listening right here on the Big Friday show. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for continually supporting me no, and for too. being there and just for giving me a chance to be myself in whatever capacity I'm, you know, able to be myself in. Yeah, so that's fantastic. You know what, my voice is that. My voice is just loose. This. I mean, no, it's not. It's not your voice is sweet. <laughs> nice. You guys, coming up is Dudu Care by Simi.